today we're leaving Le Mont Saint Michel. After spending two nights on the island, it has been the highlight of our trip so far. Another thing is taking the bags down versus pulling them up is a wonderful thing. Anyway, we're heading out and today we're going to be taking a bus and a couple trains as we travel back to Paris. Here comes Rebecca and Maria on this lovely morning as we are heading off, returning back to Paris. Bonjour, madame. Ça va? <laughs> She's happy. She's a happy girl. Here's our shuttle. It's waiting to take us back over the causeway, which takes about five minutes. It's going to take us to the parking area where if you're coming in for the day or you're coming to spend the night you ha and you have your own vehicle, everybody has to park there and then you have the option of taking the shuttle across or you can also walk. There's a bus stop here um, for public transportation but also the SNCF bus which we're going to be taking to the train station in Rennes. Somebody has worn herself out. Look at her. Oh, she's making the most of our one hour bus ride by getting some shut eye. We're taking the bus to Rennes because it's Sunday and there's not as many trains that go to Paris on Sundays. So this way it's a simple ride on the bus and we get into Paris sooner than if we had actually taken the train from the Mont Saint Michel station. We made it. Now we have about one hour before our train departs, so we're picking up some fresh bread for lunch. And some of us are exercising. <laughs> the things we do to charge our phone, the only problem is I don't think I'm going fast enough. I need to, oh goodness, I have to go all the way to get a charge. I'm at 21% on my phone. This is going to take about five hours at this rate. I have a bus that sit here and... On a side note, lunch was absolutely delightful and Nancy has done a fabulous job guarding the cheese. We have a very busy day today. We're arriving on the left bank, then crossing over to the right, then coming back to the left before going back to the right at the end of the day. La Gare Montpellier has very handy long-term luggage lockers. Here's what we just discovered. They're quite narrow. It's kind of like an overhead bin in an airplane. So when you take your checked baggage, you can't fit that obviously in the overhead. So it just means you have to take out your stuff to make your bag thin so that it fits in the locker. This is the largest locker that they have. It will fit two people squatting. I just went in there and it would have fit one more person tightly. This is also a cheap hotel option. Nine euros fifty for 72 hours. If you're here in Paris, short layover. Just go in a locker. We made it. We found a taxi and we're on our way to Le Palais Garnier, uh, which is one of those amazing places that you cannot miss if you're coming to Paris. Apparently, we're not the only ones who decided to stop by today. It's rather crowded, um, but we're going to do our best and run through here as quickly as possible so we don't miss the best parts. This beautiful hallway is similar to the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles, but just obviously on a much smaller scale. And one of my favorite rooms is the theater with these gorgeous red velvet seats and the chandelier hanging from the ceiling. In fact, this opera house is where the Phantom of the Opera was created. And always before leaving, I always love photographing items in the pizza shop. I'm outside on the balcony and you can get a good view from here. Actually, here's an open top bus, which I highly recommend taking one of these. You get a good overview of the city and we're going to be taking a ride on one before our trip ends. But our next activity this afternoon is a walking tour. We're doing about three kilometers and no one is going to complain because we're just going to take it nice and slowly and take pictures of all these gorgeous places like the Ritz Hotel and La Jorée and their famous macaron. 
and the chick boutiques and a couple of my favorite gardens. We're going to stop by the Louvre and enjoy a relaxing afternoon. How are we doing, ladies? We're doing okay. Good. We're doing good. Très yep. bien, très bien. Oh, <laughs> very is très bien. So we're now heading off towards the Luxembourg Gardens and finally going up the tower, the Montparnasse Tower, for the, sun, for the view of the skyline with the Eiffel Tower in it. So let's go, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Allons-y. Allons-y. Allons this rather impressive building, the Louvre, happens to be the world's largest art museum and was originally built as a fortress in 1190, but was reconstructed in the 16th century to serve as a royal palace. Today it covers a total area of 652,300 square feet, or a mere 60,600 square meters. Its most famous exhibit is my shoe collection. Let's continue our afternoon stroll across the beautiful River Seine. Here on this bridge you will find love locks placed by sneaky tourists who are wanting to immortalize their forever love. They'll stay here, well, until a worker from the city of Paris comes and cuts them down. Also, the very popular river cruises, which is something I highly recommend. But it is a gorgeous evening and we have a long way still to go. Considering that what was supposed to take four hours, we've done an excellent job dragging out. We've probably been walking around for seven hours by now. I love gardens, and the ones in Paris are some of my favorite in the world. The lighting is magical, and so is trying to find hidden statues amongst the trees. We're on the hunt right now to go find a miniature Statue of Liberty, somewhere around here. From here to here. Mm -hmm. Or we can walk from here to here for 17 minutes. Uh -huh. Or we could walk. Oh. What would you like to do? Um, I think maybe walking sounds we good. We could walk. Or you could take the walking? metro. Walking? Sure. Why walking? Not? Oh my dear. <laughs> the closest metro is not here at the park. Taking the metro or a taxi when your feet are exhausted from walking across Paris all day long is completely overrated. But what isn't is taking the lift up Le Tour Montparnasse to the observation deck. In less than 30 seconds, at Mach 3, you travel 56 floors, and this is what you get, this gorgeous view. This is the place where you come at sunset to get the skyline with the iconic Eiffel Tower. This was the perfect way to end our day, up here with this gorgeous view. And now we still have to get back across Paris to our hotel. After 17,000 steps, it's almost midnight because tomorrow we are going to London.